hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel if you are not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe it the link is already available on the left hand uh, top side of the screen uh, today's video is all about sql server uh, multiple rows into comma separated values uh, this is a very common scenario that we'll find where uh, we have multiple rows let's say we have a rows for projects or we have rows for departments or we have rows for particular employees and we have multiple rows like you have n number of rows uh, but rather than converting those rows like displaying those rows individually we just want to display the actual values in the form of a comma separated values uh, this is typically the scenario which i'm talking about uh, sometimes we may need to convert multiple rows into a comma separated values so if you see the first screenshot I have a table uh, which can be any name or anything uh, it has two columns like ID and country so if we see we have multiple rows uh, for an ID number 10 and multiple rows for ID number 20 and for 30 also so in case we want to convert these multiple rows into comma separated values Typically, uh, the screenshot below that is exactly what we really want in the real world. So we want an ID which is 10 should not be repeated, but rather all the values belonging to that country or to this ID, that's the countries, should be displayed in the form of a comma separated values. This is a very common scenario. I think so most of the uh, database developers would uh, resonate uh, this kind of a, a requirement from the clients or in different projects. So let's try jumping into actually performing this, how we can do this in SQL Server by using a small table and then writing a query to convert multiple rows into comma separated values. So uh, for uh, actually converting the multiple rows into uh, comma separated values uh, I have a table called as a test and if I just run a select start from test I execute it it just give me some 10 rows where I have some kind of a data uh, it's almost the same data that I showed you in the uh, screenshot that's we have an ID column and we have a country column so now the requirement is that we want for every ID that is 10, which is technically like kind can be a grouped uh, a kind of an ID. We can use a group by clause on this, but we want that all the country values should be comma separated. So it means for ID number 10, we would have one row and all the country values for 10 would come into a comma separated values. So for this, because the resultant output is an ID and then the comma separated values for the countries so we can use an id and then i'm going to use a substring function uh, which is technically uh, to remove the first comma because we don't want a comma to be starting uh, as uh, the starting point for the second column we want comma after a particular country so it means we want a comma after india or uae or any other country not at the start of the countries so uh, i'll use a substring function and uh, i'm also going to use a correlated subquery a correlated subquery is something uh, which means that for every outer query the inner query runs so it means if we have 10 outer rows so the inner query would be run 10 times so what i want to do is i want to use let's say uh, kind of a select i just need a comma plus country and i just need let's say i'll also do our trim the country from test uh, where id is equal to t dot id t is going to be the alias name which i'm gonna use it uh, at, as for the form of a table that's represented in the outer query so let's and then i'll use for xml path because i want to use it uh, the comma separated values i need to uh, use this uh, for xml path and then uh, i just need to close this so i say two i say 1000 because not more than thousand characters i need to substring for as let's say countries from test t and I'll say group by t dot 
ID. So that's my query. Let's try running this and see whether we can get that or not. So if I use execute, so you can see now for each ID or something like I'm getting all the countries in a comma separated values. So this substring function, which I've used over here is technically starting it from the second character and then picking up like thousand characters. And I know that uh, the countries which I have or the number of the rows when it is going to convert into the multiple uh, comma separated values, it's not going to be beyond like thousand characters, but otherwise you can see for yourself like how many characters possibly can go in one particular column and then you can use a substring function for that specified number of characters. And I'm starting from two because I don't want a comma to be uh, the first character in like row before India, before India in the second row or before Canada in the first uh, in the third row. So that's why we are using a substring function. And over here we used an ID is equal to T dot ID. This typically represents a correlated subquery for where we mean like for every outer row, the inner query would run. So that's how the correlated subqueries works and XML path for actually like using this to separate it into uh, comma separated values. So I hope uh, you have uh, a similar kind of a requirement normally faced by the database developers uh, whereby you need to like format uh, the rows or columns or do some kind of a pivoting or have some comma separated values. Uh, the clients may require you to supply some different format of data or you need it for some kind of a report purposes or anything. So I hope uh, uh, this would help you in your projects or uh, if you have already used it, that's very well fine. But if you have not used it or you don't know how to convert it into a, a comma separated values, this can be a good starting point for yourself. Uh, I hope uh, all of you would have uh, liked this video. Uh, this would uh, help you in your coming projects. And I'll be back with another video uh, next week. Uh, have a good one and have a good day. Thank you.